In today's video, we're going to compare the Canon EOS R versus the EOS RP, and this will help you decide which one you should buy. The Canon EOS R and the EOS RP are separated by around about a thousand dollars or a thousand pound. That's a big chunk of cash. So you may not be surprised to know that this means the more expensive EOS R has a few little extras and features that the EOS RP doesn't. If you're interested in spending your hard earned cash on either of these cameras, it's probably important to know if the extras are actually worth the extra money. Now the good news is I actually have used both of these cameras. I, in fact, I own two of one of these cameras. And what I'm gonna do is just show you the back of this camera right now. There you go. And I'll tell you which camera it is shortly. Oh, the mystery. Let's discuss some of the main features you will want to know about, like photography, video, autofocus, and features. Before we do that though, if you like photography, video, and social media tips, then please hit subscribe and then just chop away at the notification bell to join our wonderful community here at Ben's Guide. When taking photos with both cameras, you get all the benefits of shooting Canon, really. Great autofocus, beautiful color, and that easy to use menu system. But the quality of the images, that's important, isn't it? So how much of a difference is there, really? The actual picture quality itself is almost identical. Now you would pretty much need a microscope to tell the difference, but there is more. There is no doubting that the EOS R has a better sensor, so where does this show? If we take a look at two photos, one on the EOS R and one on the Canon EOS RP, both at the ISO 1600, now if we zoom in, you really can't tell the difference. What about if we crank this up to 6400? Okay, really, you still can't tell the difference. Okay, okay, let's push this right up to 24,000. Now, as you see, if you look closely, there is a bit of a noticeable difference, but this is still not that much to shout about. It's very surprising when comparing both these cameras side by side, how close that they are. The EOS R only really displays noticeable improved results at the highest ISO range. Are you already thinking about what that extra thousand pound could get you? New lens, new tripod, new photography trip maybe? Before you get any ideas though, there is more that you need to know. The EOS R has slightly faster burst rate at seven frames per second. This is versus the EOS R's very slow five frames per second. Both cameras are lacking in this area though, and I feel now is the time to let you know if you like to take pictures of fast moving objects, it pains me to say you probably should choose a different camera altogether. If not though, and you're still with me, how about autofocus? Both cameras are identical. The eye autofocus on these cameras is superb. In recent months, the EOS R and the EOS RP have really benefited from some very impressive firmware updates, improving eye autofocus. I did a review on this update, so if you'd like to really check that out in detail, you can click the link showing here right now. So a lot of you photographers I have heard are getting on the YouTubes these days and fancy yourself as video creators. Or maybe you actually just love shooting films or video. So it's important to know if there is much difference between both cameras in the video section. The shortest answer I can give you is yes. But what is it? Has anyone heard of 4K recently? probably the most overused and not fully understood words on YouTube right now. Both cameras have 4K and that's good, isn't it? But the EOS R performs a lot better in this regard. This is down to three reasons. The first is the dual pixel autofocus. You get fantastic autofocus in the 4K mode on the EOS R. The EOS RP has a crop, whereas the EOS R doesn't. Also, you have C-Log, which means if you're looking to produce really professional looking videos, you can color grade the footage if you're using C-Log on the EOS R. The full HD mode though, on both of these cameras is identical. 
So if you're not shooting 4K, you're not going to be concerned by the 4K Extra on the EOS R. If you do shoot 4K though, then the EOS R with its extra features is definitely a better choice. Battery life can also be important, can't it? Mirrorless cameras may be the future and the present, but one thing which has not caught up with DSLR cameras is the battery life. Now the specs say that the EOS R has a better battery life than the EOS RP, and why would they lie? Honestly though, I struggle to see any difference. You already know that almost every mirrorless camera you're gonna get, you're gonna have to sacrifice battery. But really, buy an extra battery or two, it's not such a huge deal. So far, I have mentioned what you get for the extra thousand pound if you were to pay for the EOS R. There are a few things that you may be interested to know that the Canon EOS RP has over the EOS R though. The first thing is holding both cameras. I definitely prefer the feel of the Canon EOS RP. It feels more comfortable to me and it fits in my hands definitely better. It's also just more compact and just seems to work better when you hold it. Next, Canon decided to add this weird freaky button here on the EOS R and take away this dial. Absolutely perplexed by this decision, the dial is definitely a better feature enabling you to easily switch between shooting modes. The EOS RP has this dial, you'll be happy to know. Oh, beautiful dial. So if you remember about five minutes ago, you saw the back of the camera, which I showed you cruelly and didn't really reveal which camera it was that I got. But right now I'm going to reveal to you that the camera I chose out of these two was the Canon EOS RP. Now under no circumstances do I want to sway your decision making, but the reason I chose the Canon EOS, well, it's the thousand pound, that's the reason. It enabled me to get other things which I wanted to get and the Canon EOS RP really didn't give me other things that I needed. Also the photography wise, there's so little difference and certainly, not worth me spending all the extra money on. But if I was shooting 4K, uh, then I would definitely choose the Canon EOS R. Um, because seriously, the 4K mode on the Canon EOS RP is all right, but it's not great because of the autofocus and of course the crop. Now, everything that you have seen in this product video, I have added in the description. So if you are in the market to buy an EOS R and EOS RP, please consider buying from the links in the description as this supports the channel. I wanna thank all of you lovely people for joining me in today's video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to join us here at Ben's Guide. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a great one and I'll see you in the next video.